what's up loves what's up divas what's up divas so today's video is going to be a small haul makeup haul makeup related you guys know I love makeup I especially love to get it in the mail okay so this one is by samsbeauty.com this is where you can get all of this fabulous makeup in case you guys just think that Sam's Beauty is nothing but wigs aunties um Hold on to your seats because they do have cosmetics as well. Like I'm saying, I love makeup. La 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 la. I love makeup. For today's video, we are going to just do some swatches. Some of the things I do have on my face, not a lot of them. Some of the products I was kind of like, just like, some of them I was just like, and then some of them I was just like, Let's start off with one, the foundation that I did get from Sam's Beauty. I wanted to try something different. It's so hard to get your perfect color match from um, any online store, website, site when it comes to foundation because each person has a different monitor, different coloring, whatever. But I just felt like this would be probably close, especially because of the name of the color and just because, okay? So this one right here I decided to get was by Ruby Kisses, RK by Kiss. I guess it's Ruby Kisses, you know what I'm saying? It is by them. This is the No More Blemish Liquid Foundation. So although I don't have blemishes, I just felt like, you know, I want to try something different. The color of it is Golden Honey. Color is more red toned, so when I put it on my face, I definitely had to remove it because it was a little bit too red, and I'm more or less like an olive yellow tone undertone. However, I thought that I can hook it up still, and I'll tell you guys how in a minute. It does go on kind of like medium coverage, so you could definitely build it up, especially if you use like the perfect coverage brush. I don't really like to use the beauty blender because it just kind of to me tends to soak up some of my foundation so it's not so thick and it's not so sheer it's um kind of like in between opaque like but like I said the color is very red toned so it doesn't go well with my skin tone so definitely on the back of my hand you probably really couldn't tell so definitely when I blended this in or uh, maybe you can't see on camera but when I put this on my face, it was very orange-like and very red-like. So it definitely, you can definitely tell, and here you can tell also, that it wasn't blending in well with my neck. So from my face to my neck, it just looked like a mask of just foundation. But on my face, it looked very red, very like orange toned. You know what I mean? But the coverage was like medium coverage. I like the coverage because I do like when you can still, when my freckles are still visible. Yes, I have freckles on my face in case any of you guys were aware of that. So I like the foundation because I can still see my freckles. That's the issue I have a lot of times with foundation when I purchase it online. I'm, I get it and it's very like reddish toned. So I kind of like stick to what I already know know especially if I can get it online that I definitely stick to what I know I wish that they would put in the packaging red toned or red undertones or yellow undertones that would be great if like foundations would mention that so yeah, I like to share with my daughter Tati because she loves makeup as well so she wanted to try a new foundation and she de I definitely told her to try something new out because she was breaking out so she tried out this right here which is the NYX total control drop foundation so funny I already had this too and I also did get it from Sam's Beauty um, the color that I have was the golden honey again you guys see I'm staying in the same color family also a very red toned to me there's not a lot of selections a lot of not a lot of colors for women of color when it comes to like with NYX foundation so online this looked like the perfect color for my daughter Tatiana skin tone it looked like it would match she's more or less like um like a caramel brown okay when she got it, it was this dark brown which was way off okay and the color is chestnut yeah it's convenient because it has a dropper so it is liquid um it's kind of like the same coverage medium coverage but the color is a little bit well a lot too dark for her so it's a very dark color from the actual computer looking at it it looks like a lighter color so it was very dark for her okay the tones like the undertones of it was perfect but this would fit like someone that's more chocolate like and it's a very pretty rich color brown and then you can tell it has red undertones however with this particular product I did notice from my own experience that you do need to shake this up really well because you'll see like the oil will sift to the top of it so you do need to definitely shake this up now it is a dropper foundation which is convenient to me it doesn't even matter dropper pump top 
open bottle, it's all the same. So the one thing that I was kind of cool with and I was excited about because I have seen like different brands that sell this product and this was by NYX though. This is their Pro Foundation Mixer. So if you have a foundation that is too light or too dark you can definitely mix it up and get yourself like the perfect shade so I got the color in olive and for some reason I really did think like it was going to be lighter than this unfortunately um, and I was going to use it with this and I was going to use it with like another foundation of mine but it seems like this actual mixer is more or less like it's a browner tone so it's it's not gonna work for me so we did try it with my daughter's foundation foundation and you would definitely have to use a lot of this. I like the whole concept of it. You could also use it to make it lighter if you have something that's really really too dark but you know it does intensify the color and it just makes your own shade. So there are a few selections of this one here which is a customizable pro foundation mixer. Um, but I do like the whole concept of it. I just wish that it was a little bit lighter for me to add into my own foundation just to give it a little bit more color. Now the one thing that I was super excited about because I love highlights and I love blushes is this one right here which is the Illuminator by NYX. This is in the color Enigmatic. I think that's how you say it. Don't get me to lying. But, but I also like the fact that it's like this peachy kind of like illuminating color. It has like a little frost to it. It's a very light highlight. So I do have some of it on today. Day, very light highlight so if you're trying to be glowed up to the gods um, you can build it but I think this is something that's great for like daytime wear you know what I mean I used to see I'm like okay my nose is shining okay we're gonna just dump this down a little bit so it is buildable and you can get like the perfect glow from it they have like a lot of colors on the website I love NYX because they have like their products are not really high-end and they're definitely not low-end so they sit like in the medium and their price point sometimes can be a little bit too much and then sometimes it can be just right like I said if you want it to really be glowed up you definitely can build it but this is like a really good shade for like daytime you don't want to be too glowed up you walking around blinding everybody everybody's like girl I can't see I can't see so definitely check this out also my daughter Tati did get this right here she liked it I like it it's the LA girls pro primer for your eyelids it's the eyeshadow one now this does come in beige white and black I'm not sure if it comes in any other color but it is a eyeshadow stick so you can just an eyeshadow base stick it's very creamy it's soft it's twistable it's compact compact you can carry it with you but you can get your eyeshadow to pop in okay who don't like she popping she popping you know what this reminds me of um the nyx one remember the nyx i don't know you guys remember nyx jumbo milk pencil that everybody just was in love with back in like 2009 it was like the rave i had like every last color and still do to this day so this is what it reminds me of but you don't really need all those colors white is a great color to make your eyeshadow pop i don't really use white anymore i just use like a neutral concealer and then i'm good but if you want like a good eyeshadow base but not wanting to spend a lot definitely check out the LA Girl Pro High Definition um, eyeshadow base sticks. These were great. They have black, they do have beige, and they have white. Also, bam! So Ruby Kisses, this is their HD Set and Forget setting powder. Now this is 16 hours of flawless face, flawless rub proof wear. This is definitely my daughter Tati's. The color she have here is in the color called Earth. And okay, I'm not sure if there was a sifter top. If it was, she probably definitely took it off. But this works really well. She says she likes it a lot. She doesn't get a chalky color from it. It's a, like the perfect color for under her eye, like because she's like a caramel color. She doesn't get a flashback. And it also also goes on really smooth and it's easy to dust off she does like this color here she did say it does have a like a, a good wear you have to find some satin powders and they're a little bit more granulated and some of them are a little bit more rougher this one is really super smooth okay I also did get some eyeliner so I'm not really huge on liquid eyeliner colors but they did send me some in like some colors so I'm gonna definitely show you guys this one is by the brand absolute New York I think it's called absolute New York and this is in the color solar so it's more or less like a gold color 
and it's a pretty gold okay but I guess it all depends on where you want to wear this to I'm pretty sure you could like do some really pretty like eye art with it now this one right here is called lunar and it's more or less a white color I did actually wear this one like in the inner tear ducts of my eyes and it just has like kind of like iridescence of glitter in it the point of the eyeliner is very fine but I think out of the two I do like the gold one a lot better because it's just very vibrant and the color is so pretty I did get this here I'm not really sure why I got this I don't, I don't know. I just don't know. But this is also by Absolute New York. And this is their strobing and shading highlight and contour palette. If you guys are on a budget and you want to try out strobing and shading, or you just want something that's compact and has all in one, then definitely check this one out. It kind of reminds me of like the LA Girl one or LA Colors ones because their colors are very similar. Except for this one right here is highlighted. It's got some shimmer to it. So it's really pretty. It's like this pearlized white color. You can definitely glow up with this one okay and then we have our setting which is something right here that I would definitely use just to set my undertone a little bit like my under eye highlight you know my concealer you know honey and or this one I use I kind of like go back and forth with these two not in this palette but in another palette that I have and then these are the contour colors um they kind of remind me of colors that are more cold tone and I'm a very warm tone girl but sometimes I will gravitate to the cool tone so I did use this one and it was pretty alright it wasn't as contour so if you want a light contour and you're more or less like my complexion then this will probably be something like you would like to go for like during the daytime you want a light beat the price point is really good on this so I would suggest this one absolute New York has some really great products you know what I'm saying they do have some great products um, especially for the price point if you want to build your makeup collection or if you're like a starter to makeup then I would definitely say that these are like things like with, with absolute New York and brands that I I would definitely share with my daughter Nay, who's 15 and who's starting out wearing makeup. She just wears a little bit. I would definitely start her off with brands like this. Nothing too expensive. Liquid eyeshadow. Like, I'm not really sure how I feel about liquid eyeshadow, especially blue. I've never been a color or a person who likes blue eyeshadow. That goes to stay with a lot of colors for me. That's why you see me, a lot of times I like to stay in the neutral zone, like pinks and peaches. That's the neutral zone, that's the safe zone for me. So I like to stay in the safe zone a lot of times. So this is not something that I would wear because it's blue. And I just feel like whenever I put on blue, I just feel like I look like a clown. And at the end of the day, when it's all done, all said and done, and you've got all this makeup caked on your face, it's definitely time to remove it. You wanna wash your face, and what better way to wash it and nourish it as with one of these purifying masks. So this is one of those peel off charcoal masks. But definitely check them out because listen, you get loads of makeup, you can get you some hair, you can get you some makeup, and you can get you some stuff for your face all in one stop shop. Like some seriousness, like for real. Check out Sam's Beauty, they got like a lot of So on that note, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too long. Check out Sam's Beauty. They have fast shipping. They got some really fleek makeup and definitely some fleeky wigs, you guys. Not this one because I made this one, but you know what I'm saying. So I love you guys, and I'll see you soon.